that range is all sorted out so now all I've got to do is set my meter coupling. With the meter set correctly by turning the drum so that all the numbers match up correctly for the correct exposure on my light source, calibrated light source. Now I can make a mark across the back here so that I make sure I keep my cables aligned. Then I can rotate the meter to bring the notches at the back of the meter in line. And now I can pull my meter cord over there. Now this is always a bit fraught. Basically I've got to take the bottom lowermost cord, bring it up over the top, get the top cord tucked into the grooves and then put the cord back where it came from. So it's always fun. That's the first stage. That's the second stage. Now get that cord back over where it's supposed to lie. That's it. That's complete. With the meter taken care of, I just have to synchronise my shutter release with the film advance release. And I can tell by gently pressing on the shutter release that the film advance release releases first. I've got to adjust the position of that screw. Without disturbing anything else. Least of all the meter. Try it again. That's the film releasing first. So a bit more. Turn that about half a turn. That's a bit better. The film is still re release is still releasing early, but not by much. You can very careful to hold that meter in place while you're making any adjustment here, so that you don't dislodge it. Yes, the film releases just slightly before the shutter releases. That's probably the ideal position for that. Check the camera, check the top cover, make sure I haven't got any 
stuff for Griffin there. All the windows have been cleaned on that top. The spring for the meter button. Fits there. The button sits there. Carefully fit the top cover into place. Put the chromed screw at the end of the top cover there. The two chrome screws for the top cover at this end go here. That all looks good. The rewind knob can go on. Just about there. Leatherettes on the front, leatherettes on the base, back catch cover to go on the base, leatherette patch there, Kodak nameplate there, it'll be done. Here I've got the leatherettes, they've all been scraped clean at the back, I'm just wiping them down with a bit of naphtha to remove any dust. just to ensure that the adhesive sticks well to it. That's good. Where's my leatherette patch for the rewind knob, the advanced knob? That's here. Check the state of that. A little bit of corrosion product there. Scrape that off. And remove all that. The leatherette's ready to go. So I'll start with the base leatherette, so I'll remove the film advanced lever. Put some adhesive on there, spread it out, make sure the edges are well covered. It should be fine. Bring the body in. 
put the leatherette into place, make sure it's fitted neatly around the boss on the rewind button, around the centre and over the back catch button. Make sure any excess adhesive is rubbed off at this stage. That's good. The front panels. Same deal, make sure you get even coverage right to the edges. Particularly sharp corners, you don't want edges peeling up because then they'll be prone to damage. That excess off. Bring in the camera body, slide that leatherette into place. In an ideal world, it tucks up neatly against the hinge line there and tucks up underneath the front mount on this side. That one's looking very good. Any adhesive that's got round to the front you can rub that off with your finger. That's good. The other piece. To be more cautious applying the adhesive, you can always squirt the glue onto a piece of paper and then transfer it to the leatherette using a toothpick. That way you won't risk ending up with great gobs of it running onto the front surface and causing you a problem. I'm being more casual because I've done it a lot of times. That should be good. Slide that into place. Get it centered between the chrome trims top and bottom. Open the back because this has to tuck in underneath the back latch. Get that centered in and firmly set. It's rubbing off some loose adhesive there with my finger. Check that's all seated correctly around the front. That looks good. Check the other piece, make sure that's seated correctly still and that the leatherette on the base is correctly seated. It's looking very good. So put the advance lever back on. It's not picking up the screw hole, there it is. Now I haven't cleaned the adhe old adhesive off this advanced lever yet, so I'll do that.
There's two generations of adhesive here. Check the state of that, how smooth is it? Yes, that's good. Some adhesive on the letterette patch. Slightly too much adhesive there, so I'll scrape off the excess. Let's take our patch and I will align the pattern of the leatherette to match the base. You can see the embossed cloth linings through here. What have we got left? Not an awful lot. Back catch release cover and name plate. Let's clean this. And the spring. Is here, busy sticking to a magnetic screwdriver. Take one screw. Put it through the cover. Fit the catch and catch cover in place. Put the spring against the screw and against the tab on the swinging cover. Lift that carefully over the tripod socket. Run that screw home, check that the lever moves. Put the other screw in place, tighten that screw and the first screw, check that the lever moves, something's rubbing somewhere, that catches, cover is slightly pushed in at that end, that's better, that's fine. So. We're down to the closing stages now. And here I will put my adhesive onto a piece of paper and transfer it to the label on a toothpick. That's good. Drop that into place. Check that it's correctly in place. And that's it. That's done.